The Grants Manager Plus Solution Accelerator provides a foundation for demonstrating how organizations can leverage Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 to provide grantor organizations and agencies with highly available grants management solutions. This video is based on the Grants Manager Plus demo script, which may be downloaded from the site we're on now, which is microsoft.com slash grants. We'll demonstrate the system from the point of view of a grant manager and a grantee. The grantee portal portion communicates in real time with the CRM server. The solution's been designed in such a way to allow you to easily extend or change what data is presented without coding, demonstrating the power of the CRM platform for building rapid solutions. So we'll go ahead and go to the grantee portal. This solution may be deployed with a combination of cloud and on-premise components. Registering for the system is very easy. From the home page, we'll go ahead and click this yellow tile and start the registration process. We'll click register in the right hand corner to register. The user is automatically taken to this registration page where they must provide basic information about themselves and the organization. Each organization is going to have different requirements for registration. Out of the box, the accelerator uses a very simple registration process requiring a few pieces of information. Once we register behind the scenes, the solution will provision in the new organization and contact information right within CRM. We're now going to start walking through the real world usages of the system. So first we're going to go ahead and log in as a program manager. So we'll go ahead and type in the username and then we'll type in the password. Once we do this, we'll click log in and we'll be brought to the home page. You'll see along the top we have the navigation to programs, apps and grants, reviews, vendors, and if you needed to register, which we've already done, and your left hand navigation. You also see the home screen has these dashboards. These are different pie charts and graphs with information needed. The first step in completing the application is to select the grantor program that the application is submitted for. So you'll see a list of all the programs. As you click the information at the top, you'll notice the bottom is populated for the information for that program. We have all the financials and grants information for that specific program. So we're going to go ahead and click on the program that we want to create an application for and we'll click create application on the left hand navigation. You could either upload an application or you can submit the proposal right from here. We could add the files to upload it or we'll go to this top tab and click submit proposal. So we'll go ahead and fill in all of the information. We'll select a program from the lookup. We're going to choose HIV prevention program for health departments and we'll click OK. The next thing that's a required field is the title. So we'll go ahead and type in a title here. We're going to type in Urban Intermediate. Urban Intermediate School Outreach. The next field is the estimated start date. So we'll fill this in. And then we have the description. This will usually be a short narrative, so we're just going to put that for now and then you'll type in the main goals. Right now we're just putting in test data. Right here you'll see the financial information. We're going to go ahead and click the amount requested. Let's say we don't have any of the other information yet. We just want to go ahead and save this as a draft. We don't have to submit this yet. We can go to the bottom and click save and then save as draft. This will save it we are now going to switch roles and look at the system from a grantor's perspective. First, we're going to log into CRM by going to the URL provided, http slash slash 205.251.124.104 slash gm2013. So we'll go ahead and log in using the username and password that we are given. And once we do this, we'll click OK at the bottom. Once CRM loads, you'll see that the CRM system is divided into several sections. The workplace contains various entities related to the grants management process. So if we look at the top, this is where we'll find our navigation. Next to Microsoft Dynamics CRM, we'll see all of the different entities. We have Workplace, Programs and Fund, Grants and Apps, and Grantees and Vendors, which we're going to click now. Once we click Grantees and Vendors, you'll see a list of all of the active grantees in the system. 
We'll also see another drop down where we can access the grantees, the contacts, and the vendors. This is the customers section. So let's say we want to add a new grantee. Right now we'll click new in the left hand corner. This is how we'll add a new grantee to the system. Grantee entities store information on the organization's businesses and individuals that have either applied for or received federal grants from the grantor agency using Grants Manager Plus. You'll notice some of these fields have red asterisks by them. This means they are required and must be filled out in order to save the record. So we'll go ahead and fill out a lot of this information as much as we want. The name, the address, and any other information you have pertaining to the grantee. The only information that's required for save, again, is the ones with the red asterisk. So you'll also see we have um, a description field we could fill out. And when we're done, we'll go ahead and click Save in the left-hand corner. And now we'll see our record has been saved. Now we want to go ahead and go over to the contacts portion of Grants Manager Plus. Grants Manager Plus tracks the contact information for individuals associated with grant applications and grantees. So we'll go back to Grantees and Vendors and click on Contacts. Contacts represent information about individuals including their address, employment, and contact information. In general, contacts are used throughout the Grants Manager process to relate data entities to a person. You'll see that the last name is a required field as well as the contact type. So we'll fill in this information. We also have this details section. If we click on this, it'll expand and we'll see more fields for the professional information and also the personal information. This entity is used to create communication such as emails, letters, and phone calls. So we'll go ahead and click save. Now we're going to log in to CRM as an administrator to look at a list of the existing proposals. So we'll click the drop down next to CRM and click proposals. This will show us a list of all of the active proposals. So let's navigate to the one that we created where the primary contact was Kim Rawls. So we'll go ahead and double click on this to open the application. You'll see all of the fields from CRM have come over. We have the name and the program as well as the primary contact. So let's say we want to approve it. We'll change the proposal status to approved and then we'll go ahead and click convert to application. It'll ask us if we're sure we want to convert and we'll go ahead and click OK. That's how you convert an application to approved. Now we're going to switch back to being the grantee to experience the grantee's point of view during the life cycle of the grant. So we've returned to the browser where the grantee portal session was and we'll log back in. Once we're logged in, we're going to go to the application and grants from the top navigation bar or on the side bar we could navigate to it. So we'll go ahead and click on applications. Kim can see that her most recent proposal has been accepted and added as an application. You can look at the applications list and see all of the applications just submitted and you can check the status which now should say submitted.